In this video, I'm going to show you how to draw your first PDM network diagram for a project. So, we already know how to draw Gantt charts from the last couple of videos, but uh, the PDM network diagram is basically just a flow chart for, uh, that represents the project showing which activities lead into the other activities. So we have this project here, it has six activities. In the logic here, uh, we know that A happens at the very beginning, activity A happens at the very beginning of the project because there's no predecessor. And then activities B and C can only start once activity A is done, and then so on. So activity D can start once B is done, E can start once C is done, and F can only start once D and E are both done. So first things first, uh, what I would do is I would normally just draw like a little rough version of our, of our flowchart here. So start with activity A because it's at the beginning. And then B and C, once A is done, we can go ahead and complete activities B and activity C. There we go, activity C. Uh, now once, uh, for activity D, it can only happen once B is done. So once B is done, that leads into activity D. E can only happen once C is done. So once C is done, that leads into activity E. And F can only happen once D and E are both done. So you have to draw your arrows coming down from D and E leading into activity F. All right, so that's just a rough draft, but normally what we're going to be using is a little uh, node like this uh, instead, because we need a little bit more information than just the letters, because we have duration and we're, we're going to have a few other things too. So we will be using this small six panel square. Um, some people might use different numbers of squares, but I think I'm just going to keep it at the six squares uh, inside of here, and we'll be able to work with that for the rest of the course. So. Uh, what goes in all these squares? We're only going to be using the middle two squares for this video because it's the first time you've seen it. So in the top, we will write the activity name, activity, and in the bottom square, we'll write the duration. And then in later videos, we'll figure out what to put in these guys. So with that said, all we need to do now is we can basically just draw exactly what we had up here, but with these squares. Just like that. So now we have, this is our full PDM network diagram for this project, uh, where in the top middle square we have the activity names. We have A, B, D, F, just like this, A, B, D, F. And then along the bottom path, we have A, C, E, F. So A, C, E, F. And you can check the logic on any of these. So for example, let's look at activity F here. Um, we have D, D and E leading into it, so those are its predecessors, and there you go, D and E are its predecessors. Whereas maybe activity B, the only guy leading into it is A, so A is the only activity that would have to be done before we complete B. Right, so where's B, its predecessor is A, so that makes sense. And then the bottom middle square we have here, we've just written in the durations for the individual activities. So you can see activity A is five days long or weeks long, uh, whatever your teacher might be giving it to you in. Uh, and for example, let's take one other one. So E, E's duration is three days. Yeah, that checks out. All right, so that's your very first PDM network diagram, and I will see you in the next video, and we'll go over a more complicated example.